Hello and welcome to the Plan and Register Classes video offered from Academic Services at the University of Evansville. The first thing you would like to do is go to your self-service at selfservice.evansville.edu and log in with your username and password. The next step is to go to your student planning tab under self-service as located in the orange circle here. We will first look at the Go to My Progress tab where you can find your outcome and major requirement planning. When you first get to the My Progress screen, you will see several different things including your program that you are declared in as well as your cumulative GPA, the green bars. It will show your total progress toward your degree requirements, your total credits earned so far, and the total credits earned from this school. The section that we want to look at is the requirements section, which shows your completed and uncompleted outcomes and major requirements. Under the requirements section, you will find outcomes that need to be completed with the red caution sign and classes that are completed with the green check mark. Any class that needs to be completed or scheduled will show up in red. The classes that need to be scheduled or that are not complete will show a search bar that you can click on and search classes within our semesters. You can see the search buttons circled in orange here. Once you have searched a course or outcome or major requirement, you will want to filter your results by term, location, and you can even search by availability. You'll want to select your current term, your location that you're looking for, so in the instance that you're taking courses at the Evansville campus, you will want to select Evansville campus. And for availability, you can search open sections only. You can see here that we have filtered our results already for the spring 2022 semester, the Evansville campus location, and open and waitlisted sections. To check or view the available sections, you will want to refer to the green arrow and pull the drop down menu. Once you click the down arrow, you will find all the available sections for that specific course. You will add the course to your section by adding the section to the schedule. Please note that you will need to add the section to the schedule and not add the course to plan. You can see this here with the green arrows. An additional screen will pop up and you will want to add the section, shown in the orange circle here. Once you have added the section, you will want to go back to My Progress. You can see that here with the green arrow. Now you will want to go to Student Planning, shown by the green arrow here. Then you will want to select Plan and Schedule, shown by the green arrow here. Under the Plan Your Degree and Schedule Your Courses page, under the Schedule section, you will find the sections that we just added in the orange circles here. When the classes show up in yellow, they are in a planned status, as you can see in the orange circles. As you can see here, this section has a wait list. If it is a course that you need, please add yourself to the wait list. If it's a course that you can fit in your schedule at a different time, view all other sections to see what will work. You add a section to the waitlist by clicking on the class section has a waitlist and then an additional menu will pop up and you will add the section. Another way you can schedule your classes is by searching for the individual class. There is a search bar at the top right found in the orange circle here. In this case, we are looking for Biology 110. Any time that you sign up for a four credit hour sign, make sure that you add the lab to the course as well as the lecture. This is shown here in the example in the orange circles. The lab classes will have an L, which stands for lab, by the numeric numbers. In this example, I wanted to show you what it looked like if you had a conflicting class. Conflicting courses will show up on your block schedule in red. You can see that in the orange circle here. In this case, you will want to view other sections of the courses that you need to see if you can find courses that don't conflict. To remove a conflicting class, just hit the X on the schedule and it will disappear. This is shown in the green arrow here. Now let's look at scheduling some major requirement courses. To do so, you will want to go back to student planning under My Progress. 
This is shown in the green arrow here. If you scroll past the outcome requirements, you will find the major requirements to your degree. This is shown in the orange circle here. If you scroll further, you will also find any minor requirements as well as free electives. Once you get to the major requirements section, you will search the classes that you still need with the search bar. This is located here in the orange circle. Once you hit the search button for your major requirements, you will want to filter your results, as shown in the orange circle here. This will show you what courses are available this semester by narrowing down to the specific term, the specific location, and what classes are open in waitlisted sections. Once you have filtered your results, view the sections that are available and add them to your schedule as we've already shown. After all your classes are planned and you have a full-time schedule of at least 12 credit hours or higher, you will want to contact your advisor. If you're unsure who your current advisor is, check your Plan Your Degree and Schedule Your Courses tab under the Advising and it will be listed here. This specific example doesn't have an advisor listed. If this is the case for you, please contact us at academicservices at evansville.edu. If you did have an advisor, it would have their name and their contact information. You can choose to email your advisor in your email or compose a note here. Once your advisor has approved all your courses, you are ready to register on the day that you're able to register. You will want to go to your Plan Your Degree and Schedule Your Courses page and hit the Register Now button at your designated time. You can see the Register Now button here in orange. There is an add drop period for you when you are registering and scheduling classes. To drop a course, you will see in the green arrow here. Your courses are registered once they all show in green or show enrolled. If you look right below the Register Now button, you will see the planned, enrolled, and waitlisted. Make sure all the courses you planned show up enrolled. Lastly, here are a summary of helpful hints. Make sure to clear all holds before registration. Again, lecture and lab sections have to be registered simultaneously. Use the Register Now button to do this. Make sure to select Sections if you have planned courses ahead of time. You can't register for courses, only for sections. Use the filters for location term when searching for classes. After your advisor approves your schedule, don't forget to click the Register Now button during your registration period. Your advisor needs to approve all your classes to be able to register. A closed class is a section that is no longer available unless you have instructor consent. If you come across a waitlisted class, make sure to waitlist yourself and also register for alternative classes. And again, after registering for classes, make sure all your classes are in green. Check the summary line at the top of your course plan to see how many classes you have planned, enrolled, and waitlisted. For any additional questions or concerns, please contact Academic Services at evansville.edu.